In this video, I'm showing you how to detect faces, how to detect eyes, and how to detect smiles using a built-in HAR cascade in the OpenCV for Python library. This is video six of a tutorial series all about OpenCV for Python. We've learned a bunch of things and there are more things to come. Subscribe so you don't miss any updates in the future. I have a link to the playlist below and also a link to all the code is below. I said HAR cascades, but what are HAR cascades? There are all these different things called HAR features, which basically scroll over an image and if it's a line, then it's gonna be positive. Say it's a circle, that's this radius, then it's gonna be positive, depending on the different HAR feature that you're looking for. People have figured out that eyes are very unique looking, heads are unique looking, smiles are unique looking. So using these unique features, we can just check to see if an image has X percent of, this features, of these features off a of feature list. And then if it does, check, we have found a face. I won't get into the specific math of how a HAR feature works, whether we check the box or not, but it's related to convolutions and matrix algebra. Let's get on with the show, start coding. This is gonna follow closely from episode four video. I'm just gonna copy and paste all the code I have from there because we're gonna open up a webcam stream to start. We don't wanna write any outputs right now, so I'm just gonna pass that. We don't actually need to resize the frame. And then I'm going to leave everything else as is. But what's the point of this video? The point is to detect some features and we're going to have a frame here. If you don't have all this code, you can just find it on my GitHub from video four, or you can just pull video six's code here. Pass that for now. Actually, let's just return the frame and detect features. So in this while loop, what we have here, we've opened our webcam stream and we're reading in each frame as it goes and we're showing that frame. Before we show that frame, frame equals detect features frame. We want to detect different features in the webcam frame, write rectangles over those features. Let's make a box around the head, for example. Then we're going to show that frame. When we hit Q, we'll break out and then close everything and clean everything up. All right. In detect features, we want to get face, smile, and eyes detected with OpenCV for Python. We're going to get use some built-in HAR cascade XML files that OpenCV provides. So face cascade equals cv2 dot cascade classifier. And now we have to tell it what cascade we're giving it. So that's cv2 dot data dot har cascades and then plus the specific har cascade. So this cv2.data.har cascades is a file path and then we have a file name here that we're going to give it. I'm going to copy and paste that here. Har cascade underscore frontal face underscore default dot xml. Next up we got our smile cascade equals cv2 dot cascade classifier and then it's the same cv2 dot data dot har cascades plus the rest of the file name this one's a little easier it's going to be har I cannot type cascade, cascade, and then smile.xml. Finally, we have our i cascade equals, it's another cascade classifier, cascade classifier, cv2.data.r cascades plus same format as the smile file name har cascade i dot xm 
XML. Cascade. Okay. I think I have all those spelled right. Now in detect features frame, what are we going to do? We're going to make it gray so things are simpler to convert. If you try to do this in color, your computer is going to go pretty slowly. I have tried it. Let's convert. I'm going to call this gray equals cv2 dot convert color of the frame and then we're doing cv2 dot color blue green red which is the current file or current color standard all the way to gray make it a lot simpler and let's detect all our little faces it's just going to be me on a webcam so really only one face but faces equals which one? We're going to do face cascade dot detect multi scale. Then we have a few parameters to take care of. The first one is going to be our image, easy enough. The next one is a scale. We're going to scale up to 1.3. And then the final one is minimum number of neighbors. I'm going to put that at 5. Basically, the lower this number is, the less quality the image needs to be to get detected. There'll be more false positives with the lower number. Three to six seems like a good number. I'm going to use a higher number later for the smile because I have a higher quality of standard that I want for it. Um, you can also specify min size and max size of the feature. Min size and max size but I'm not going to do that here now let's look at all our faces this is basically an X Y a width and a height rectangle in faces we want to draw a rectangle so we can I have identified the face that's the goal here so frame equals CV2 dot rectangle rectangle we're gonna draw on the frame then we need to specify our starting points and our end points so our top let's do our top left and our bottom right that's going to be X Y and then our other point is going to be X plus width Y plus height we have color equals we'll make it green zero zero wait zero two fifty five I think green's the middle one yep yeah. GBR thickness equals five pixels for the thickness we can speed up this estimation if we only are searching within the range of the face for the smile and the eyes now and I'm gonna do that by going face equals frame and we're just going to index the pixels remember it's height first so we're going to index from y to y plus the height and then our rows is going to be our x to x plus the width let's copy this line and we also want to do our gray face so rather than frame let's write gray here we're going to do the detection on gray face, but then we're going to draw on face. And the pass by reference, pass by value stuff that you may have learned in intro to programming is going to apply here. So we'll draw on the face array, and it'll show up on our frame when we pass it through toward the end. Okay, it's the exact same code to detect eyes and smiles. We're going to do smiles first. Smiles equals smile cascade. Detect multi scale. Rather than gray, we're going to detect it on gray face. Scale factor, we're going to make it a bit bigger. I think that's how this will work here. And we want to be very strict with our min neighbors. Min neighbors equals 9. Very strict. Now we have a list of smile rectangles that we could be adding. Realistically, we only want one if there's one face, but 
this will apply if you have multiple faces in a video. 4, x prime, y prime, w prime, height prime, in smiles. Then it's this same code. Fix that indent. And we add the p to all the x, y, w, h. Rather than green, let's make this red. And we do the exact same thing with eyeballs. Okay, fix the indent here. Eyes equals eye cascade on the gray face. We don't need to be so strict with min neighbors. Make that five. And then for every eye in eyes, let's draw on we're not drawing on frame here, we want to draw on face. So I'm changing smiles to make us draw the rectangle on face with those coordinates. Face, face, we got all our positions correct. And let's make the color blue, 255. This is really all we need to do now. So let's run this and see if any errors pop up. We are not using width or height anymore. All right, run that. Oh, oh, I messed up. We are using width and height. Okay. Let's run that again. Usually takes a minute to pop up. Oh, there we go. Looks like we're not strict enough with the eyes. But if we frown, it goes away. If I close an eye, it picks up on my nostril. Okay, I'm going to adjust the parameters so it picks up on my nose now, so it stops picking up on my nose. Okay. What do we got to do? We got to make eyes more strict. I'm going to change that to seven. Run it. And while it's processing, I'm going to get the output uncommented. So the next time we run, we can get something saved. Here we go. And it's not really detecting my nose anymore, just a little bit. That's very cool. That is very cool. And it's hardly taxing my computer at all. Okay, let's do one more. But now I've uncommented output.write. So we can save a version of this video. This is going to be called 6 facial detection.mp4. Wait for it. There we go. Very cool. It's, I, I find that so entertaining. That is a straightforward way to detect facial features of your face, your eyes, your mouth, somebody else's, whoever, whatever you have a video for, using built-in methods in OpenCV for Python. More advanced methods might use neural networks or some kind of deep learning, but as you just saw in this tutorial, the Har Cascades are fast and work pretty well. In the next video, we'll be doing image filtering and looking at all the ways you can manipulate images using filters and kernels and other fun things like that, Gaussian filters. If you want to catch up on previous videos, the playlist is in the description. Also, all the code that I've written today you can find on my GitHub linked in the description. Leave comments if you have any questions or ideas for future videos. and. Thanks for watching.